National Geographic 70 millimeter telescope with stand. It's actually made by Bresser and distributed by National Geographic. Uh, it, the price varies, 119 to 149 dollars. When I just now looked, it was 139. It has a 70 millimeter aperture. It's an F10, so it has a 700 millimeter focal length. It uses a handlebar mount. It's a little handle. You twist it. It loosens up, and you can move up and down. There's a little knob on the side that you twist that, and it'll go uh, right and left. It comes with uh, two eyepieces, 9 and 26 millimeter, and a times 2 Barlow lens. It has a uh, rather nice, actually, uh, uh, red dot finder, but it's on a non-standard mount, the, uh, so you can't use any other uh, finder scope with it. It has uh, an unusual, the, the, the dew shield comes off, and you can actually take the lens out, the objective lens in the front. I guess you can take it out for cleaning. It's a uh, simple <clears throat> uh, acromat flint glass and uh, uh, crown glass, a doublet. Uh, you can see the m craters on the moon. Uh, you, uh, last night I saw uh, Saturn. I could see the rings, although they didn't show up very good, but then I don't have very good seeing on any night here in my Bortle 6 area. It has a fiber carbon tube, which makes it very light. I don't much like the mount or the tripod, because I think they're kind of rickety. But it is rather cheap, and I suppose if you're child wanted a telescope and you didn't have much money, you could buy this. might even be able to buy it for yourself if you're terribly, terribly poor. Uh, I bought it. I'm terribly, terribly poor. I don't recommend it, however. And that's my evaluation of the National Geographic 70 millimeter telescope.